there's always a food that I eat that I shouldn't eat or I drink something that I shouldn't drink that makes it worse. The list of things I can eat is very small. Oregano and garlic. I don't do garlic tea, but my ducks do. But I put garlic in my broth so and in my soups and whatever I can put it in. So I do get my garlic. So February I had COVID. March I got sick again and assumed it was COVID because it felt like a repeat. April, I'm like, oh my gosh, not again. Is this long COVID? And the symptoms are IBS and autoimmune. I'm still trying to figure it out. But you know what? I was thinking about, you know, I'm not well yet and I'm, you know, getting discouraged. But you know what? My stomach doesn't hurt. I'm going to, um,. Use green onions in this instead of regular onions because I think onions are on the you shouldn't have it list for autoimmune IBS flare-ups. So they're called flare-ups. So it'll go away, but it could come back again someday. Um, oh, my point was I'm not in pain. Nothing hurts today. I've had my stomach was hurting and bleeding. I've had... You know, my bladder was hurting. Maybe it's a bladder infection, which I am treating holistically with cranberry juice. Um, so there's no pain today. So I'm still more symptomatic in the morning than I am in the evening. I'm still symptomatic, but I am not in pain and I am not in bed. Um, I will take breaks. I will maybe take a little 20-minute cat nap and then be up again. But, you know, my dishes are done. When I'm not, when I'm feeling my worst, my dishes aren't done. So, my dishes are done. I made soup. Even when I was sick, I made stock. Even though it's not bone broth, it's something. And, I'm, you know, I made it. It's cool. It's better to make your own. This is fresh grape juice. From my garden so I didn't make grape jelly out of all of it the last of it got jarred up in small jars so that I could use it up before it goes bad so canned by me grape juice it is so good with no added sugar I love it there we go all of the stock has not melted yet we just got it melted enough to get it out of the bag. I usually like to freeze that flat, but my refrigerator is full. And I don't do everything well when I'm not well. But look at that. That's pretty. So that's chicken and rice and veggies. I added an apple in there because I had a half apple that didn't get eaten. So, you know, interesting. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> I brought them food, snacks from, you know, me making food in the house. That's their favorite. Hey, be nice to my boot. Whenever I am in a different pair of shoes or a different boot, anything that's different, they want to flog me. So the way I handled it yesterday when I didn't have a camera in my hand is I just picked them up and patted them and talked to them and put them back down, patted them for a while. But I did, I did get some boots. I wasn't able to go get them. Rick got them for me. They don't last very long, these boots. They're not expensive, but they don't last long. And they're really super comfortable, so I keep buying the same boot over and over in a different pattern. So I did infuse their water this morning. Just a little while ago, actually. And they always need fresh water later because the ducks trash the water. Hey, duckies! Ducky, ducky, when I'm at my worst, the duckies don't get their infused water, their vitamins. They get food and water, but when I'm not doing the chores... They don't get, they don't get the extras. I do the extras. 
What guys, what's wrong? You don't like the rooster in there? Do I need to take care of him? There's one rooster that likes the ducks and maybe a problem with the other roosters, so he hangs out with them. Sometimes he sleeps with them. They've been sleeping in their duck house more and he was in there last night at bedtime. They all ended up in the same coop. Roosters upstairs, hens and ducks downstairs. Because the roosters are brats, man. They bite and they're jumping on everybody at bedtime and girls don't like it. They're screaming. I'm not cool with screaming girls, screaming hens. Okay, so I'm going to, I would put you down, but I didn't bring my little tripod out. My hands are full. I gotta change the water. Doggy, dog, doggy. Doggy, dog, doggy. Doggy, doggy. Is everybody okay? Are you okay, ducky, ducky? Brought their infused water where, where they're at. They tried to sleep in this thing last night, the dog crate. Ducky, ducky. If it's warm enough, it is predator proof. They can sleep in there if they want to. It's airy. It's not good to be out in the rain, but because we're in a covered barnyard, they can sleep in there if they want to. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I was blaming everything on the roosters. But the hens have been going at it too. Going at it with each other. So the problem is the plant is really big. It was a bulb when I planted it and this flower wasn't there when I planted it, meaning it had died back for the summer. The alliums were planted in the fall. So it's a whoops, I gotta move that plant out here where I can see it. I'll probably find the tag. Right here where this butterfly is. That's a good spot. I got the flower moved and it's getting ready to bloom. I wanna see it. It's one of my favorites. And one of the reasons is because it blooms early. Somebody chomped one of my tulips. Looks like there's only one left. Moved an English daisy. Moved another English daisy. So I don't know if it got too hot in the front of the vegetable garden last year or not. I do not remember. but I, Or maybe I just didn't have enough to move them in this border. Because I have a lot more now than I did last year. So that might be the case. So I've been putting as many things in the ground as I can. I have one piece of time that looks decent. I repotted it. Because the rest of the things in the pot that it was in wasn't doing wonderful. I'm not sure I want to put it in the ground yet. Soon. We'll let it heal in there and I'll get back to it. Blueberries. Everything is sprouting. 
this particular blueberry didn't do well last year. I redid the soil. I amended and remulched to get the acidity up. So I was hoping this one would do much better this year. Doesn't look great. But hopefully it'll be better. And then my new blueberry is just getting used to being outside on the nicer days. I still gotta clean this garden out. But I'm thinking that's a good spot for the little blueberry because it still puts it in the close proximity because you need multiples. Uh, Olive Bush is getting ready to put on a beautiful show. Looking forward to that.